Space of Grace Today Inspiration on the Way An International Incident An ambassador is the ranking government representative stationed in a foreign capital. Likewise, an astronaut have been deployed to complete a mission and are representatives from the planet Earth traveling into outer space, a foreign territory. Therefore, it is important that they are suited with the appropriate wear for their successful existence on the planet they plan to land on. Each member of the team has been given an assignment and each member is clear on their role and how to execute it. Everything that will be needed to complete their mission has been provided for them. In the same vein, God created a species of man, which is a spirit with a soul that is housed in a body. Our physical bodies have been carefully suited, enabling us to function successfully on planet Earth. Our spirit man is sustained and thrives on nutrients provided in the word of God. As we are awakened by truth, the reality of our assignment in Christ Jesus and our divine purpose becomes clearer to us. God has equipped us with everything that we will need to complete our assignment. 2 Peter 1 verse 3, it reads, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. An ambassador on assignment in a foreign country carries the authority and power of his government, his nation, or his kingdom wherever he goes. In other words, the full weight of his government, nation, or kingdom backs him up and stands up on his behalf. An ambassador never stands alone. The fact that he represents a government, a nation, and a kingdom means anyone assaulting him has actually assaulted that government, nation, or kingdom that has commissioned him. The diplomatic term for such an assault is called an international incident. Since the assault or the attack was launched at the whole nation from which that ambassador was sent. Dear friends, we are ambassadors on behalf of the kingdom of heaven here on the earth. Our assignment is temporary, so it is imperative that we make full use of the time we have been given. God has chosen to use you and I to be a light in a world of darkness. The enemy knows his time is short. His strategy then is to play the other side of the fence, constantly trying to throw us off our assignment with confusion, delays, you name it. He wants us to get so overwhelmed by his schemes and assaults that we throw in the towel of our faith and just give up. Jesus said in Luke 22 verse 29, and I confer on you a kingdom just as my father conferred one on me. Confer means to grant or bestow. Bestow a title, a degree, a benefit, or right. In other words, since we have been deployed by God as ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven on earth, whenever the devil attacks or blindsides us, he is coming against God himself. His aggressive behavior creates an international incident in the spirit world, bringing down the weight of the kingdom of God against him and his demons. You know, I can remember growing up in the Caribbean. It is common to see the whole family show up to deal with anyone making trouble with just one member of their family. This family's stance meant if you touch one, you touch all of us. The enemy can expect God to stand up on our behalf since we are representing him. As believers in Christ, 
we have at our disposal around-the-clock support, full heavenly representation, complete military assistance from on high, and the God of angel armies. So we never stand alone. Today's Reflection Isaiah 54 verse 17 it reads no weapon forged against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from me declares the Lord be encouraged dear friends know who you are and whose you are we are on an assignment our time is short get busy get busy get busy and know that heaven backs you up when you represent the kingdom of god this is your inspiration on the way